The four chords, the troubles. Oh, in 1916? Yeah. Oh, well, in 1916, do you see what happened? The British soldiers were after being fought in that course, training and down in, on the Curra. And they were all called to arms. And the Grand Almighty was only after being fought in his course down there. And he was going to France, order to France. And he was picked out then to come to Dublin for the 1916 rising. So they came on the, the Bradstone Station. And it seems that the sergeant was with him and brought him into a pub. And the sergeant got that drunk that all the men got rotten drunk. Wish him. This is true now. And they all come down there, the top of Bolton Street and all, singing. And each of the soldiers all went where they lived. And the Grand Army, he was coming to Kevin Street. And when he got to the forecourt, and my brother was in the forecourts and only a young fella, 16 or 17 years of age, with the 1916 rising, and he was a dispatch rider to Boland's Mill to De Valera. And he was only at the going in, and of course, when they seen the khaki soldiers, two of them, on the bridge, the four shots, and that's how the Grand Army lost his arm. And he always used to say, thank God an Irish man got me my pension. And he lay, and he was taken into the Protestant church, that's the only place I could carry him to. And he was there for months before he was taken to the castle hospital. And uh, they went then to the four courts, and that was in the four courts was buttoned up, and the four courts was buttoned, and anyone was in it. But the Lord of mercy on me used to say, if I need to have a few things, thank God my own Irish men got me my pension, they ruined me now, and I'll see, he was getting out of France. But he was doing, he'd no arm from there, doing, you know, the big pension of the army. And he was in the, the castle hospital for about nine months, every surgeon and all with him. And uh, of course, my brother Chris, he was only young, but he didn't know at the time what it was, who it was or nothing. But after a funny thing in years to come, it was funny the way the two of them used to get and tell one another. Do you know, they went in for a point. He up and met Christy and then go in for a point and to talk about it. And uh, he was a child and he was in the army, but Christy then was sent to, he was arrested and sent to Framach prison. And we didn't know where he was. He was weeks and months away. People thought they were dead and they were shot. And then they were sent to, uh, they were brought home to Kildare to Hare Park camp. And they dug a tunnel dead and they were on the hunger strike. And they cut them down, digging the tunnel and they put them into nine months punishment. And from that then they went to, they went to, from Ballykilna then, they went to Ballykilna camp and that's where they were in turn. And Christie was the last prisoner on the Hackney car that left Ballykilna camp. Coming on the long beam street and he was dressed in a sack, a sack, a sack. He was dressed in, that's all the clothes were done him. A coat made of a sack on the toes, and a Protestant lady used to go into the camps to see them every day. And he asked her to make, she asked him to make a geranium pot for her. He loved the hands, me brother, Thomas's brother, Thomas's daddy. And he made her a beautiful little house and a beautiful geranium pot. And she went to all the officers and all she couldn't and said, he should be liberated. He shouldn't be in, but she writ to him near months and months home here. That brothers and lady, I don't know what that, what happened, what happened to her. She was very good to him. He used to send them parcels and everything. But when they all uh, the, the signed the truth, and Christie's battalion, the third battalion, they, uh, they were the last. That, that's now, Sean Lamas was in it. And Dr. Jamin off the green. Dr. Morphy off of Ball's Bridge. Noel Lamas, that's no, he's father now. What? Uh, uh, what you call my talking about, Hoshi? And they were all with Christy and the Thomas has them all a big photograph, digital child, a big autograph. And they wouldn't sign this form. And they were the last that came for them on a hackney car. Two chaps from Rush, and a chap from the country. And poor Tommy Whale and the Lord well, was executed in Mountjoy Prison. And they were the last that came up on the, on the Hackney Camp now. And they gave them terrible treatment in it. They gave them skins and potatoes to eat and everything. That's true. Now, the Catholic people doing in the North was as bad. They thrown stones and they put the oil of the priest that was bringing them in the, in the, in the carriages down. 
and they were as bad. You used to go to the camp and throw stones and all in at them into Ballykiln, that camp. I had the lovely things on me doors was that. Don't you know that song, Rosie McMahon from the banks of the barn? He did that to, uh, in three things to me. Uh, 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 and got it. He said, this is a lovely picture, a lovely story I'm going to tell you. And it's a song. And it was a lovely song. Well, they were the last, of the, and he was dying after that. He was, uh, he had to go to hospital for 13 months, Christy. He was very bad. I don't know how he lived after. He went on hunger strike and he was digging tunnels and all. So he put up with an awful lot. You see, and that's why the people in the North Sea can't, be, can't forget what they did on the Maida, you know. The Norwich Woolen place one time, and you went on the tunnels down underneath, and they had them locked under there in the darkness. The rats running around them. Oh, yeah. I could write a book myself on it. <laughs> that's the truth. And you used to write the songs. When you'd write, you'd write a song, and you'd say, like, you'd write on the thing, and you sent lovely medals made out of pennies. And a woman her husband walked in Grafton Street and the big jewel is there, the Wicklow Street corner. And you know that big jewel? Where is it? Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Well, her husband walked in there, Paddy McGarry, and he said he'd get, he'd bring them and get them sure, and he said he lost them, but a man said to me they lived in the house that she sold them. Lovely, he made lovely things, he's a lovely hand. Lovely hand, but he put up with an awful lot. I don't know how he lived so long. But he used to write all them songs. What songs? Uh, he wrote about Tedens McSweeney in, in, uh, in Brana. Some are short past to old Ireland. He did that song home too. What way does that go? Well, that's lovely. What way does it go? In and prison camp in Brana. Yeah. Lay a rebel young out there. The priest knelt down beside him and his comrades in despair. He was thinking on the morrow and it filled his heart with pain to think that he might never see his dear old friends again. And then the chorus was John my soul passed through old Ireland uh. to Dublin City Grand, where we passed that old cathedral where we pledged our hearts and hand. Shall I see that old mud cabin where I pledged my heart and hand? Father tell me truly when my soul passed through her land, and there's another face I don't know of it. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. All the signs that are coming on holidays on the river. And the place, it's a beautiful place to go there. I do, on the green, on Stephen's green. Yeah. Yeah. Dalton Street. Yeah. And, uh, Yeah. 